We are quickly moving into the age of the drone, the unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV. These camera-bearing mini flying platforms are being used in ever more creative ways as the FAA is considering regulations governing their use. An industry, in fact, a field of study is also growing around UAVs. Let's talk with Dr. Luis Cifuentes. He's the interim director of A&M University's new Lone Star Unmanned Systems Center in Corpus Christi. Why don't you tick off some of the drone-based careers that students can actually pursue now? There are going to be tremendous careers for, for our students. Uh, people that are in engineering and computer science and geospatial science are going to be able to take those skills and apply them to this new industry. There are also going to be those individuals that might go to a two-year school, uh, learn how to operate, learn how to maintain these systems. Uh, we, we certainly think of this as a, a, a third Kitty Hawk moment in aviation, and uh, we are preparing to teach our students, to educate our students in order to be able to provide the workforce for that new industry. And what's exciting about your center is that it's not just on computers and theoretical, they actually go out and use these drones in real world applications. Oh, absolutely. If you look behind me, you'll see that we have our RS-16, and we've been flying that south of Corpus Christi, uh, looking at the maritime environment on Padre Island, looking at seagrass growth, looking at uh, algal blooms, looking at uh, oil spills. There are a variety of different applications that uh, you can use with unmanned aircraft systems or drones. It depends on what kind of sensor you want to put into them. So there's a whole new budding research field of putting sensors onto these platforms that our engineering students, our computer science students, our environmental science students are going to be able to get into. Aeronautics, that's another component of this. So what is the demand for drone science degrees these days? Well, just in Texas, it's anticipated that in the next 10 years, there are going to be 4,000 direct jobs and 8,000 direct and indirect jobs. A lot of those jobs are going to be technical jobs, and so all of those people are going to have to be trained in one of these fields in order to be able to meet the requirement. And that's just in one state. Dr. Cifuentes, thank you so much. Thank you.